Hi everybody, welcome to the world of Mica. Right behind me is the now Hotel Plaza Boulevard on Walt Disney World property that takes you all the way down to Disney Springs. But back in mid-January of 1970, this was known as Preview Boulevard. And there is something that still lies on this street that not too many people are aware of. This building right here. This building was the preview center of Walt Disney World. This was opened in mid-January of 1970 and closed in September 1971, just a few weeks shy of Walt Disney World's opening date. Let's take a closer look. So back in 1970, this was a dirt road. Right over here is Interstate 4 and this is 535. So your family, if you lived here in 1970, you would take the exit to 535 from Interstate 4 and you would drive along this road to come to the Walt Disney World Preview Center. And already a half million people have passed through its doors. If your family lived here in Central Florida, you could go inside this building and see Phase 1 of Walt Disney World, the vacation kingdom of the world. Now phase one showed off the Magic Kingdom. The Magic Kingdom at that point was only a model. Your family could walk in and see a huge scaled model of what you were gonna experience at Walt Disney World. The hostess would show you around. You could see renderings of what you could expect to see in 1971 when Walt Disney World opened. You could also see a huge scale model of what the entire property was gonna look like, including the monorail locations, future hotels and resorts, and of course, the Magic Kingdom Park itself. Now, after you looked at all these things, you were taken into a room where they showed you a short film, which you can still watch today on YouTube. And this also served as the first place where you could actually make reservations to stay at the Polynesian and Contemporary Resort, and also the first location where you and your family could actually purchase Walt Disney World merchandise. Pretty cool. Another interesting fact about this building was they actually had Pluto and Goofy available for meet and greets. So if your family was here, you didn't have to go to Disneyland to meet Pluto or Goofy. And Walt Disney World wasn't even open yet. Pretty cool. This building now serves as the Amateur Athletic Union, but the architecture of the building has not changed since 1970. So I just tried to walk into the door and apparently you had to have a certain key to hit on the side of the door and uh, I tried to open the door and a little alarm thing started going off so I'm gonna walk away from the building but this is pretty cool that this building still lies here on Walt Disney World property and so many people pass by not knowing that a lot of history existed in this building. So thanks for watching and thanks for taking a closer look at this building right here. The first building ever to be open to the public on Walt Disney World property. The next time you're driving to Disney Springs, pull into this parking lot, get out and take a photograph of this building. And you can take home a unique souvenir, a photograph of the very first building on Walt Disney World property that's not actually in a theme park. Be sure to visit my website, worldofmica.com. Subscribe to me on YouTube, youtube.com slash worldofmica. Until next time, guys, stay weird. Bye-bye.